I've seen so many videos where product managers share how they got hired in their role for the first time, but in this video, instead of sharing my own story, I want to offer a bit different perspective and I want to share why I hired a PM with zero experience. This person had five distinct traits that I want to share in this video that not only helped him nail his first PM role, but made him one of the best PMs that I ever worked with. But before that, if you just got hired as a PM and you're wondering what in the world do I do now, I'm actually here to help you out. My name is Jelena and I'm a VP of product in a remote startup and I've been doing product for over five years. If your product job currently feels like every everywhere all at once. I'm here to help you out um, with this channel that I created to help you master product management with confidence and clarity every step of the way. So let's get into this video. Around three years ago, when I was hiring a product manager as a new VP product, um, I kid you not, I received only a handful of applications. I'm talking tens here. This was the time just after the pandemic uh, was coming to an end, but everyone was still working remotely, which is usually a big advantage for my remote company. So the competition was tough, candidates were scarce, and I realized that I wouldn't be able to hire a seasoned PM as I hoped, but I would need to hire based on trades and not experience. And I would have to train this new PM myself. So after interviewing a few candidates, I quickly realized that one person was standing out with his unique set of traits that made him a great candidate and an amazing PM today. Today, I believe these five traits are critical for any great product manager, and luckily, they can be easily taught or coached into. So trait number one, curiosity. The most important quality in product managers is curiosity. Curiosity about how things work, uh, why they work this way, how they can be improved, curiosity about people, what makes them tick, what challenges they face, how they can be helped, and so on. If a person is curious, they will not readily accept the status quo, but they will ask insightful questions so they understand the essence of any situation. Curiosity, most importantly, drives product managers to understand their customers extremely well so um, they can help their customers solve um, the problems they face. But curiosity also drives individuals to stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies, and that is knowledge basically they can later apply to make their products better. This way, product managers ensure that their product stays relevant. Product managers who are curious about the world around them and who are a bit obsessed with their customers can distinguish new opportunities so that they can keep their products competitive. Curious product managers make better decisions as well because they have vast knowledge and understanding to draw on since they understand situations on a deeper level. In order to show curiosity in a job interview, feel basically comfortable to ask questions of the person interviewing you, questions about the company, the team, the product, the customers, share your current knowledge and experience from other areas and interests that might be relevant to the company um, that you're doing. By all means, do not sit quiet in the interview, ask a lot of questions. I think that's perfectly fine. I like to hear questions from candidates when I'm uh, interviewing them. Also, feel free to share kind of what you think um, about what the company is doing based on the knowledge you already have. But you all just don't sit quiet there. But before we move to the next um, trait, I'm curious about you. Um, so I'm doing 20 minute free consultations over on Zoom to help you with your needs and pain points related to product management, be it specific areas of product that you struggle with or you need help nailing that PM job. So if you're interested in meeting with me, follow uh, the scheduling link in the description box down below. Product management, especially in a startup when you own the entirety of the product by yourself, is quite hard, honestly. Let's face it, product management is really a tough role and even more tough when resources are limited and things are um, changing at a crazy speed. That's why having grit, the ability to persevere, dust yourself off and move forward is probably one of the most important qualities. As a PM, especially when you're working on an early stage product, you're gonna try a lot of things. And a lot of things are going to fail, a lot. Most of the things that you will test, build and launch will be a total fa failure. Unless you have grit, it's gonna be hard to keep going when you um, don't have like a win for a long time. The product development process is also super hard, especially when its resources are scarce, there's a lot of back and forth between different people and decisions, a lot of uncertainty around what's viable, what's feasible. Um, there's often a lot of strategy changes, like a lot. Sometimes these things are changing from one day to the next, and this all can get pretty crazy and emotionally taxing 
relaxing, so unless you're able to switch gears quickly, the whole experience will basically crush you. In an interview, to emphasize your grittiness, <laughs> share moments of adversity that you faced in your career and, a career and how you overcame them, and demonstrate how you persevered despite hardship. Show your passion for long-term growth and progress, and constantly moving forward. Truly, if you do one thing in an interview for a product management for a product manager role, it's demonstrating that you're gritty and you cannot be faced. I mentioned earlier that great PMs are customer obsessed, but what does it actually mean to be customer obsessed? To me, it means to be able to empathize with your customers and the challenges that they face. That's why empathy is the trait number three that's most important in a product manager. A great PM is able to put herself in the shoes of the customers so that she can understand how they feel, what they're thinking about, what they're doing, um, why they're doing that, and how they see basically the world around them. When PMs empathize with their customers, they develop a deep understanding about what's on their customers' A-list and what makes them actually tick. This deep understanding of their user needs will drive the PM to build a better product that truly delivers value to their users. But empathy is not only important when it comes to customers, um, because as a PM, you're working day to day with your cross-functional team, different stakeholders, adjacent teams, many, many different people. And unless you balance all that out, all these different perspectives, personality tips across multiple functions, you're going to find yourself in a little bit of trouble. So in a job interview, demonstrate empathy by showing that you think about your customers and people you interact with on a deeper um, level and demonstrate that you're able basically to put yourself in their shoes and in their position. And shameless luck for you over here. If you're feeling empathetic, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more product content like this. I know um, this is really shameless plug, but I pour hours into these videos and I love to, um, to know that you're enjoying them. And speaking of different functions and many, many different people, um, the fourth trait critical for product managers is great communication skills. Most of the PM's job is about making sure your cross-functional team works really well together and that you work well together with different stakeholders, leadership team, adjacent teams, um, such as other product teams, but also marketing, sales support, and so on. In your day-to-day -day role, you'll be communicating with your team, your product strategy, and the goals. You will be building understanding of your customers in your team and the problem uh, you're supposed to solve for them and basically why these problems matter. In a way, you'll have to build Build trust and credibility, but you will also need to make sure that product requirements are executed accurately, which you also have to communicate in a form of PRDs, user stories, workshops, and the like. You also need to communicate with diverse stakeholders from different functions about your product and customers. Often you'll need to get buy-in uh, for projects you're working on, um, product strategy that you're pushing, like whatever it may be, and at any given time you're explaining things up and down. Um, so this only gets more complex when you work in a remote company that has multiple diverse um, cultures, such as the company I work in. So not only do you need to navigate multiple people across different functions, you often need to do so in written form uh, across 15 different cultures and multiple time zones. So I believe that the communication skills <laughs> come out um, through the entire uh, hiring process. Um, from how you email to how you show up in interviews. But if you also have good examples of your good communication skills from prior experiences, you might want to emphasize those uh, in uh, the interview. It definitely won't hurt. And the final trait that's important in every great PM is openness to feedback. And here I need to mention that openness to feedback has been the driving force of growth for the PM who I hired, who had no experience when he joined our team. He receives every feedback with an open mind, listens to it carefully, processes it, and implements it basically in um, to kind of his future behavior. And this is how he was able to grow from a PM with zero experience to a senior PM within uh, three years. So when it comes to feedback, it's not just about receiving feedback uh, with an open mind, but it also means asking for feedback directly from your manager 
and colleagues and asking it often, especially when it's not provided regularly. If there's one growth strategy in your career as a PM, it's collecting and acting on high value feedback, not just any feedback. In an interview, I don't see anything wrong um, in asking your interviewer to pro provide you feedback, either on the interview or how you came across as a candidate. Um, I really like being asked this question to kind of offer feedback. And, um, and even if you don't get hired, at least you will know what you will need to improve. So that was it. Five traits critical for any great PM and five traits that got my current colleague hired and made into the best PM I met. So curiosity, grit, empathy, great communication skills, and openness towards feedback. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're finding it um, valuable, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more product content like this. And until the next video, keep creating user value.